Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Let me quickly deactivate my camera. Yeah, welcome back. I hope you had a great weekend and welcome to your daily update on Solana. Um, which, I mean, to be to be fair, the price is still at the same levels it was at yesterday. All right. So then you could say, well, there's not much to talk about. But I would argue that that's, uh, that's not true. I mean, for Solana right now, um, the market structures is quite interesting. All right. Because it, it was, or at least I thought it was, after that bearish breakout, last week, um, I thought the main main direction and the main expectation would be that, you know, we, we might grab some liquidity up here, which we I've, I've shown you yesterday, I've shown you that yesterday as well, uh, that there was quite a lot of liquidity to the upsides. Like when, when Solana got a, a bearish breakout, we instantly started to have a lot of short selling. Uh, so what that created, as you can see right here, is, is a lot of liquidity. So we grabbed that. Um, but now Solana actually broke above this trend line, for example, as well, which this should have been a pretty strong trend line. I did not short it. I mean, when I when I saw the bullish breakouts above $90 and just in general, knowing Solana's movements and knowing which airdrops are coming up and how much hype uh, is around those airdrops. Uh, I don't think it's a I don't think it's a wise decision to to short Solana necessarily right now. Maybe if we get a bearish breakout, but not right now. So it doesn't matter, but we got that bullish breakout and just in general, and um, and we already looked at this yesterday, but I, I want to know how it has uh, developed. Just in general, uh, the open interest is actually pretty high as well. We actually saw the open interest uh, increase a bit more over the course of, of yesterday. And since then it has been stable. So there's actually reason to be relatively bullish on Solana. The volume has gone up quite a bit as well in the last 24 hours. Is dropping down now, which is is a bit weird because it's the start of the week. Uh, but I expect that to recover. But but looking at that all, so looking at the technicals in which we just got a bullish breakout and all of the EMAs are below the price. If we look at the momentum, which is pretty bullish right now, or at least it's relatively, it's pretty high up there. And then if we look at Bitcoin, see with Bitcoin, that's the only that's the only part I'm I'm a bit worried about because I am pretty certain. Um, as far as you can be certain that Bitcoin will find resistance here in this area and then drop down. Um, and we all know, I've shown you this a lot of times as well, we all know that Solana is very, very correlated to Bitcoin. So it will follow Bitcoin, especially with a Bitcoin dominance that is still quite high and probably is going to increase. So that's the only thing I'm, I'm, I'm looking at and thinking, mm, that could be a problem, all right? Looking at all the other things, I would say it's most likely, and this is what I said yesterday as well, that we will get up to 102, uh, all the way up to 106. And I also still think this is most likely because even though I think uh, bearish momentum for Bitcoin is most likely, on the short term, it's very, very realistic, we'll still get a spike up. So that could correspond with a spike up for Solana up to that uh, 104, 102 level. Uh, but ultimately, I do not think Solana will break above that. I think the volume would need uh, would need to be higher, like at least above three billion dollars, maybe even higher than that. Um, and I think the open interest, especially, should should be higher than than that. All right. So if that if that does increase, and if we get um, and if we get numbers where a bullish breakout is a realistic possibility, I'll let you know. But for now, I think it's most likely that we'll get up there. Uh, grab the liquidity that's left there, find resistance, and then drop back down towards this level right here at 90 and 85 dollars. And once we hit that level, we'll start talking about whether we can hold that and consolidate on top of that, uh, or whether it's more likely that uh, that will crash again, have a bearish breakout, and drop down below 75 dollars. Uh, so, but that's what you need to know for now, all right? So, if you do have any questions, of course, uh, let me know down in the comments. There you can also find more, as most of you know, about my premium and signal group. Very valuable, but I'll, I'll leave that up to you. For now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.